last April I had uh, posted a YouTube video um, about a project, a DIY project I was working on called the Pocket Rack. And uh, it sort of took off. A lot of people had comments. Uh, it was a tremendous amount of feedback. It was, it was amazing. Um, but it's, it, the Pocket Rack itself is just, it's a small piece of plastic. It's, um, it's cut with grooves on the side so that you can have uh, elastic bands holding down your EDC on the rack itself. It's a pretty simple idea. Um, and I, I just thought it would be interesting to kind of throw it out to the community and see if people had some ideas about how to improve it. And a lot of people did <laughs> have ideas. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Let's talk about the card and the bands that I'm, I'm now using with it. So the bands on here, um, we've gone to these silicon, these 40 millimeter long, uh, um, 40 millimeters by two millimeters. And the card has been specifically designed for, for these bands at this point. So the holes are just the right size. They've been rounded off on the outside and they have that little hook edge on the inside so that when the band goes in, it stays in. Um, it's easy to get it out if you just, um, if you pull the band back the opposite direction like that, it pops right out. So you're always, you know, popping the band through from the same angle. There's very little wear on the band itself because of the precision of the hole size and the band itself. And uh, it's just, it's just amazing how well it's worked out. Um, so we're not, I'm not using the TPA bands anymore. Um, the TP, I'm sorry, the TPE bands anymore, just because of uh, the old, the old ones. But I do have some new ones that I do like that I'm, I'm going to use on on occasion for, you know, depending on what purposes I'm using the card for. Um, but I, I'm really, really pleased with with the way that these these uh, silicon bands have have turned out. Um, I had ordered quite a few of these from China. And they took me a while before I finally got the size that I needed. Um, so these 40 millimeter by two millimeter are absolutely perfect. The elasticity is, is, is really good with them. Let me show you how it looks with one of these, uh, a small item being attached. So this is a, an old folding pair of scissors I've had for about 20 years, originally from China. Um, they've lasted forever. They're, you know, people, there's some junk that comes out of China, but for some reason, these are just incredible. I've had them a long, long time. Um, so they, it holds it down on the card, but I, I have a suggestion here. If, if you're going to try doing this is, um, if, if you're going to do Velcro, I would suggest doing Velcro. What Velcro is going to do, if you put the, the fuzzy, um, hook surface, um, the loop surface on here, the, the rug like surface, it actually acts as a better surface than the slick plastic. So it embeds, the bands embed the item much deeper into the plush of that surface. And it, it holds it really well. I mean, these are holding really well right now as well. Um, it's, it's not a huge issue, but if you have something small, maybe that's underneath, you know, the, the band isn't holding it very firmly, that will help tr just tremendously having it that way. And I'll, I'll show you what that looks like on this card over here. Um, but yeah, the bands are, are fantastic. I'm, I'm really, really pleased with these versus the TPE bands. Um, but yeah, they, again, they come on, they pop on very, 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 very easily now. And they, they don't come out because of those hooks that are coming in the opposite direction. Um, they work just really, really well. So yeah, that's a huge, huge plus on this. So um, let me show you what it looks like. This is a completed card. Um, on the back side, again, this is the Velcro, and this is the um, the loop portion of it, or the little rug portion of it. So I also use it for attaching other cards. In this case, I have the Knipex, um, the four inch Knipex, and I also have a nice a mini ratchet that I've, I've got in here. Um, this is on a piece of, of Kydex card um, that's been sized to one of these pouches that you can get for the back of your phone. Um, it, it's, it's outstanding. I love this little design like this. So I can just attach this directly to the back of the pocket rack. And yeah, it's really, it's on there really well. And it makes a very, very nice little EDC organizer.
I mean, it's, it's fantastic. So with that ratchet on here, you need some, uh, yeah, some bits. And I've got a drawer here on the bottom. That last uh, tin that you saw pops out. And I have eight bits in there. Uh, they're double-sided. They're the, the Weeha bits. Um, they're fantastic. I've uh, actually disassembled a, a dryer with these things and, and, and just this EDC kit, which um, I found pretty interesting. Um, I actually have some video of that. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm really, really pleased with the way that this thing has progressed. Um, yeah, got some more for you. All right, so I've got some variations of uh, things that you can do with the rack once you've got one together. I, and I, and I want to say that you don't have to go this 3D route. You can I if you go back to my previous video, you'll be able to see it's it's pretty easy to make one of these cards on your own, just getting a hold of some maybe uh, ABS plastic and and doing it yourself. Um, you have the dimensions. I've I've posted them here in this video and I think I included them in the other video as well um, and and if you have any questions feel free to just post them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to help you out but this is just you know this is the next level for, for doing these cards but you can do the things I'm going to show you now with the DIY design as well and um, so let me show you some of this stuff so I show you this in the previous segment where you have basically the uh, the Knipex and the small micro ratchet with the extender. Um, and you can just connect that to the Velcro on the back. So if you can get a hold, I would really suggest, this is fantastic getting a hold of this Velcro. Um, if you can get yourself a spool of Velcro, this Velcro has the hook on one side and the loop on the other, and you just cut off the pieces that you need. And uh, it just, it's incredibly strong. The other advantage of it is that the, the gap that's left between the Velcro uh, bands is is the perfect width between the band on, on the on the edge here. So you can see you can reach you can still reach everything that you need to reach here to pull things out. So it's almost like it was designed for it. It's it's so nicely um, they come together so nicely. So anyway, another option you can do, I'm gonna take that card off, is if you want to make one of these cards to hold your Knipex and let's say a ratchet and you can even put credit cards in here. There's two pouches. This is not just one pouch. This is two separate pouches. So you can, you can open up one of the pouches, put cards in if you want. I also have, <laughs> I have another pair of those, uh, the Chinese um, scissors in here. These are a stainless steel. The other ones are not, um, but they're, I think you can get them on Timu for like 79 cents or something. It's ridiculous, but they're, they're, they're pretty nice. Um, and so again, getting a piece of the ABS plastic, getting the pouch, attaching the pouch to one side and you're in business. You've got a, a really nice little pouch. You can use it standalone if you want. And if you want to just do a, here's what the pouches look like. I think they run about a buck fifty, two dollars uh, Again, you can get them on, on I would suggest Timu over AliExpress. Um, AliExpress I've found sometimes is it's ridiculous what happens with the shipping and the quality of stuff. But Timu seems to ship everything pretty rapidly within two weeks. Um, and the, the cost that you're paying for the item includes the shipping is free shipping as well. So yeah, these, these, um, I think, I, I think they're latex. I can't remember what they are. Um, like a spandex type, type material on the outside but they, they're very strong. These are like, like triple thickness. So if you can get some of these and hook it onto the, that with your, you know, with your Velcro and your, your business, you can create all kinds of pouches, wallets, all kinds of interesting things. Anyway. So, um, other things you can do, my wife found this, this is kind of interesting. It's a Samsonite makes this little tiny wallet. Um, it's plastic pops open, has plenty of room inside for, for cards. Um, it's also, I guess, lined as uh, aluminum on the inside. I put a couple pieces of the uh, uh, stuff on the outside of the hook on the outside, and um, you can just attach it directly to the rack. And you've got all your EDC tools on one side, and you can have this very cool little wallet on the inside. So I, it's not going to fit your pocket really nicely, but it will fit in like a jacket pocket or a backpack. 
and you can just pull off, you know, it, it keeps you from having these two separate units, but it's, it, it works really nicely. I like it. So when I'm traveling, I'm going to have something like this with me. Um, and I think it, I think it'll be perfect. Um, another option you can do, and I had shown this in the other video in the previous video is, uh, these tins are amazing. Um, you've seen a lot of them similar to this in, let me see if I've got my, oh, I don't have it here. Um, anyway, um, these tins are fantastic. You can hook it up. You can do the same thing if, if you uh, want to have another drawer on the bottom. Um, you can just load it up with all of your EDC. Um, it's pretty cool. Works works very nice. Um, you can do the smaller tins if you like. Let me see if I had, what did I do with the small tins? I know I had them. Oh, here they go. So the Altoids tin thing, you've all seen them on the inside where the Altoids tins, the little tiny ones on the inside. Well, you can also put them on the outside. Um, I'll put a link again in, in the description to where you can get the little, little mini tins. And these are the ones I was using for the bits as well on the rack, um, the same size, and they fit right on the bottom. These will not fit inside the tin, but you can put them on the bottom if you want. Anyway, it just gives you a huge number of options. That's it. Any questions? I would love to hear from you. If you have comments and things like that, please post them down in the comment section. Um, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.